are no coaching teams. They are Wayne State Warrior champions, that's it. And um, I want to thank all of you for coming. Uh, it's a, a great day where we can talk about the future of Wayne State football. And we also can kind of celebrate the past a little bit. We've got some seniors here um, that are here to pick up some of their awards. I think we have a few of them um, for guys who haven't picked them up yet. But um, just to tell you a little bit about 2010, going into the 2010 season, everybody kind of expected us to be a real average football team. We were coming off a winning season. Our, our, we were coming off our second, win, second winning season in a row and um, had lost the number one player in the country, Joy Bell, who was a Harlan Hill Trophy uh, Award winner. And uh, everybody said, well, without Joy, they're not going to be a real good football team. And um, what are they going to do on offense to, to make up for that? And um, I think that in itself made these guys, our, especially our seniors, even more determined to have a great season. And those guys did a fantastic job. They came out determined and um, found a way to win nine games. And uh, it was very interesting because we played great defense at the beginning played outstanding defense and we won games strictly with super defense guys making plays getting turnovers and um, really you know just making us tough to play against and then we had some injuries we started losing a lot of guys on defense and you know it was a situation where you thought okay they're losing guys on defense again this is where they're going to fall down well in the last four games we scored 41 points a game and found ways to win with our defense not playing quite as well as it was. So you look at a, the football team and say, what kind of football team was it? It was a complete football team. It was a complete football team with everybody contributing. All right, good afternoon. My name is Virgil Petty. I coach uh, running backs here at Wayne State. Thanks for coming. John Hauser, I coach the DB's defensive coordinator. Jason Thomas, assistant defensive line. Keith McKenzie, uh, linebacker coach. Scott Kazmierski, defensive line and recruiting coordinator. Terry Heffernan, I'm the offensive line coach. Thanks for your support. Steve Neal, wide receivers coach and special team coordinator. Thanks for coming. Scott Wooster, tight ends coach, Tartar Warrior, alum 96 to 99. There's two important people that I, I need to introduce to you. First of all, our, um, our safeties coach, who's also running the camera. Jeff Reardon. And our most important coach, who just who has the beautiful red vest today, um, works with our special teams, Frank Novak. So, did you want to say anything? Should we go ahead and get started with the... Okay. Um, this recruiting class. As you saw, we didn't have a large group of seniors up here. So it's not a big recruiting class for us. We, signed, we were able to sign 16 young men, and a big part of that was um, we had some really great academic students that were able to earn academic money. So that allowed us to spread the money around a little bit better and, and maybe get a little bit more out of our dollar. Um, so we signed 16 young men. If you look at our class, we will tell you, without any embarrassment or anything else, it's the best class in the league. It's not the biggest. Um, there are teams that signed 35, 40 guys. We'll take our 16. Um, they're quality young men. They were the top guys that we were looking for at the positions that we were able to find. Uh, we probably didn't sign enough offensive linemen, um, but we, we had some skilled guys here that were exceptional. And, um, you know, our one thing was we, we signed three wide receivers. We said they got to be better than Ed Sanders. We can't go back. <laughs> so, and that's hard to do because Ed was a heck of a player. But we're really excited about those three wide receivers. And um, we, we needed to sign some linebackers. And we signed two linebackers that are, are phenomenal. Um, I don't think anybody in the league is close to those two guys. Um, and, and we'll let the coaches, what we'll do is we're going to show the video of the players. And while the video plays, We'll let the coaches um, talk about their recruits. So um, we want to go ahead and get started with that video and let the coaches. Okay, the first young man is a wide receiver out of Cleveland, Shaw High School, Jamel Hicks. Jamel is a big play guy. He's about 5'9", 170 pounds, and very, very fast. 
uh, as you watch the tape, you'll get a chance to see uh, see him run a guy down. You see him uh, break away from people. He played offense and defense. He was a team leader on a, a Shaw team that finished seven and three. And uh, we had another young man from his school that we we recruited, but Jamel was the guy. Here he's a kickoff return, and he just runs away from everybody. And, he, you know, he's a little skinny guy here. He goes up and gets the football, though. Here's a play where he's playing safety, and the guy breaks away from him. And he can catch a little quick pass. Our next uh, wide receiver is John Allen from Northville. Uh, the number one word I'd use to describe John is productive. This young man had 21 touchdowns in 10 games this year. He did it blocking punts. He did it uh, catching passes. He did it uh, running the football. I had the uh, opportunity to get to know John over the last six months. Every time I talked to him, he was either studying, uh, uh, lifting weights, playing football. That's pretty much what he does. He's a great competitor, very strong in the weight room, and was incredibly versatile for a very resurgent Northville team. This is him on the kickoff return. He had 550 yards in kickoff returns, averaged about 33 yards of return this year. They give him the ball, hand him the football, play uh, some running back as a junior. Again, another kickoff. He's got great speed. He's a tenacious competitor, but I think uh, the real secret to his success are his great support he gets from his parents, who are here today. So uh, make sure you say hi. <laughs> Carl Roscoe. Uh, Carl Roscoe is a uh, two-time uh, all-conference uh, quarterback, 6'3", 230 pounds. Carl is a 4.0 student. Uh, he's a 16 and 5 as a starting quarterback. Plays for Kellogg'sville. He's originally from Kentwood, Michigan. Um, Carl has <coughs> ten varsity letters, uh, four, four basketball, three baseball, and three football. Carl is a, a great touch, as you can see on some of these balls. Great footwork. He's what you call a throwback athlete. One of the three sport throwback type guys. A uh, really good leader. Uh, he was really a steal for us. Really glad to have him. And I mean, he's real anxious to get in and get to working and, and competing uh, to help this team get better. So next kid is William Wheat out of Grand Blank High School. Will's about 6'1", 170, stretching it. He needs to put on a few pounds. But, um, real productive receiver for him. We first saw him at Central Michigan Camp Coach Neal. Kind of saw him this summer and liked what he did at camp, and we just followed his season ever since. Uh, just really came on this year, had seven touchdowns. Really runs the vertical route, can go up and get it. I think every time I see him, it looks like he grows. But he uh, plays basketball, runs track. Had a chance to see him play basketball. He he can really get to the get to the basket. Good short range quickness. You know, good at getting off a of press and. We feel like a guy that can come in and play after he red shirts for a year. Jacob Frazier. Uh, Jacob Frazier is a tight end from Niles Brandywine High School. Uh, he's 6'4", 255 pounds. Uh, Jacob is an excellent athlete at that size. Uh, I'm sure you'll see a couple highlights where he has uh, great hand-eye coordination, good speed. He came here, uh, worked off us, uh, had one of the better times as a 255-pound kid. There you see him making a one-hand catch up the sideline, and he can stretch the field. Um, we just think this kid has so much more potential. Uh, <clears throat> hasn't tapped into it yet. He's going to be a great steal for us, a great addition to our tight ends. He also plays some fullback. Uh, loves contact, as you can see. 
He's really not trying to run past guys. 